Hey everyone! It's been a while since I checked in, so I thought I would um, inform you guys about everything that's been happening. I think since I spoke to you last, I was going on a break from all the chemo and immune therapy because I went to the Emmys last week. Guys, it was awesome. I had a week off of everything. I got a blood transfusion and no chemo and I felt incredible. I wasn't nauseous, I was able to eat, I was able to just go about my daily routine and, and feel normal for the first time in a very, very, very long time. Because before I got diagnosed, you guys, I was pregnant for nine, 10 months, postpartum for four, and straight into chemo and stage four colon cancer. So I, in over a year, just haven't been myself and it felt so good. But my, we lost Daber, Daber, um, my mother-in-law. Her name is Debbie, but Kirk nicknamed her Daber years ago and now we all call her that. So. She left on Tuesday after three and a half months and it's really, really hard to say goodbye and see her go. And, and then two days after that, my sister came in with my best friend, Corey, and my niece, uh, Penelope. So we've had a little switch up in the house. It took a couple days, but I think we're finally in a good flow and good rhythm. You know, we do have the extra kid in the house, but it's just really bringing in more love. She's such a sweet baby and I get to spend some good quality time with her. So we have a eight month old, um, I think Penelope's probably 13 months now, and then a three and a half year old. So we're busy, but good. And so, yeah, I went to the Emmys and it was amazing. I think you guys saw my video uh, from the Emmys and I just had to kind of give you guys a sneak peek into the energy and how good it felt and how good I felt and and everyone else um, around me just there was so much love in the room I just had to share it and I hope you guys got that from my post but it was such an incredible weekend filled with so much love and support and I felt like myself again and I it was so nice to get a little piece of Hollywood because I love what I do. I love my job. I love being a part of the film and television world. And, but I also love being a mom and being a wife and living in this quiet, quaint neighborhood and living this San Diego life. So for the past few years, I've been living what I thought was a balanced life and a little bit of work and a little bit of family. Um, so it was really nice to have that little bit of work life again, you know, and, and I've been working up in LA for the past 14 years. So, I mean, these people are family to me. So, and, and a lot of times when you work on these sets, you spend more time with the people you work with than you do your own family. So it's really hard not to grow close with them and build a relationship with them and consider them family because at times they know more about what you got going on than your own family at home. And for you, for those of you that um, work on sets, know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's, um, it was really great to see everybody and my extended family, it was awesome. Uh, my best friend Corey went with me she was a saint. There was probably nobody other than Kirk that could have got me through this weekend. You know, um, I had used press on nails uh, because uh, once I started getting hangnails on my fingers and toes, I started getting pretty big infections. Like before, I would just have a hangnail and I would pick it off and it would be no big deal. But now it's like my body can't fight off that infection the way it did before, that sore. Um, and it turns into a full-blown infection. So anyways, I, my um, nurses have asked me to not do manis and pedis, so I did press on nails. So Corey was pressing on my nails while I was getting my makeup done and ordering me food and just helping me along the way, the entire way, and just, you know, taking care of me. And 
while having a good time at the same time we danced all night and guys I didn't drink at all I I really wanted to but my friends who I'm working with um, on my nutrition with were just like Meg it's not worth compromising your immune system and when they said that I kind of cued in and was like you know what you're right like I'm already pushing myself so much that the booze would have just taken everything down with it and so we had maybe had like a half a glass of champagne and uh, the entire night but I danced and I felt good and I got back to the hotel room and didn't even want to change out of my clothes and I started crying as the night was ending because everybody was saying goodbye and and it just was so emotional you know because it was like I don't know when I'm gonna see him again I don't know when I'll be back to work and um, the Emmys was just something really exciting to look forward to to get to see everybody and I'm so glad I have it was a big goal of mine and and we made it happen and my nurses and my doctor and friends and family and you guys everybody just helped get me there so thank you for that and so while I want to keep talking about that I figure I should tell you guys what happened when we got home so I lived this fairy tale dream for two nights and I had to dress up pretty and feel pretty again and I actually got the compliment that chemo looked good on me and I was like oh thanks I think and uh, so the whole way home, Corey and I took the train home from LA to San Diego and I was like, I just wanna get home and cuddle my babies and relax. And, and so we get home and I see Dylan and I'm loving on her and Parker's still napping and Parker gets up from her nap, and give her a snack and all of a sudden I see her itching her head like this. And I was like, oh no. And I have post-traumatic stress from the word head lice because I had it so much as a kid. Um, and I had so much hair and, and anybody who's been through it knows what I'm talking about. So I start sticking through her hair slowly and I found that Parker had head lice. And I couldn't talk about this any sooner because I needed to know that I was clear because I had hugged a million people at the Emmys and gave so much love. And I need to start off with this story by telling you all I don't have it, thank God, especially as a professional hairstylist. Like, that's our worst nightmare. So, we check Parker's head and she has... So luckily for us, they have companies that um, will come out to your house and treat everyone. So I looked on Yelp, found a company, the man was so lovely over the phone and I was like in the middle of a meltdown. I said, listen, this is what I got going on. I go, while you can maybe come to my house tomorrow, I go, I have to go sit in a chemo chair for 10 hours, eight to 10 hours. I go, so um, what can you do for me? He was like, I don't know if I can get anybody out there tonight to look at all of us because I had three adults and three kids in the house at the time and I'm itching just talking about it and probably so are some of you because that's what you do when you hear the word lice. Um, so anyways, they had somebody come out at 9 a.m. the next morning. My sister and all the girls and the babies and Parker, they all got checked. Parker had it, so they took about two hours to get through her hair and clean her out, but everybody else was clear. Meanwhile, I was in chemo all day, and the woman came back to check me once I was done. So I went through chemo all day, came home, sat in a chair, got checked for head lice, and about halfway through the check, she's like, you're looking good. Nothing is um, showing up, so yeah, I didn't have it either. Had I had it, we would have been sitting there until probably midnight going through my hair, and I can tell you guys right now, if I would have had it, I literally would have chopped off half of my hair right then in that moment to save me time, but I don't. So all of that to say, guys, I had a lovely weekend, and I was so looking forward to Sunday to relax. Instead, we tore my freaking house apart 
We're lucky we didn't burn it to the ground because in the moment, that's what I wanted, wanted to do. But we're good. We're clean. We're clear. Thank God. Because it could have been worse. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of real life for you in the middle of my fairy tale dream of a weekend. So thankfully I had Corey and my sister here because Kirk was still away on his bachelor weekend. So he didn't get home until Monday night. So he missed the whole life debacle. You guys, I can't even type it in my phone. Like I can't even, when the word nice switches to life, I freak out. When I write love and I it changes to life, I'm like, no, I hate that word. So anyways, we got through it and we're all healthy and I went through chemo. I'm now on Wednesday. I get my pump removed and we'll go from there. We have a busy week. I have a PET scan next week, which is my first PET scan since the original. I did have the CAT scan, which showed that the big tumor was um, shrinking. So we can hope that it is continu continuously shrinking. Plus, I also wanted to ask my doctor after this PET scan, I want to know where each one is. I want to know where the ones are on my bones or where the ones were in my abdomen, um, colon. We know, know where that one is. I just, I, I need a visual. I need to be able to visualize and, and see what's up. You know, we're still doing a lot of spiritual healing. I'm reading my books. I am have a meeting with a doctor in LA named Dr. Sadegi with the Clarity Cleanse to open up some more um, clearing of the clutter. And yeah, I, I we have a lot of things that are coming up. So new updates shortly. I don't have much updates other than I had an amazing week um, back in the chemo uh, um, coma and and I really did not want to come back into this, but I did. I'm doing it and right now I'm doing it okay. Not nearly as many side effects so far as last time, so we'll see what happens. You know, I kept up on my nutrition and my supplements all week and so hopefully it's just helping me battle all these drugs. My doctor talked to me about maybe reducing my dose coming up. We'll see what happens. Um, but guys, we're doing it. We're still in it. I cried a lot this weekend. A lot of happy tears and a lot of sad tears to kind of go back into this. But I know that I can feel really good when I'm not on all of this. So let's see how this pet, can, uh, pet scan goes, guys. Let's just see how it goes. See what results we get and we'll go from there but I see you all I feel you all I love you all and guys in the end that's what's gonna beat this got lots of love around and I hope it doesn't slow down and tons of support still and again guys I, I can't believe this is my life and our life right now it, it still feels like a dream or a nightmare at times but um, we're getting through it. That's all I can say. So, wish me luck this week that my side effects don't get too gnarly. Um, my bag comes off, so sometimes they kick in a little bit on the weekend, so we'll see what happens. But, um, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll check in before my pet scan. Love you all. Hope everybody's great, and hope this finds you all happy and healthy. Always grateful. And love beats all.